Good afternoon. It is the 17th of February, a beautiful snowy day out here in New York, and I finally did something that I feel so excited about. I bought a refurbished iPad and an Apple Pencil, and that is solely because of the GoFundMe that I have for my long-term financial goals. This is not to be confused with the current GoFundMe that I have. I had a previous one that was still portraying the same message of I'm trying to get stuff done for the shop, but ultimately I had been using that for many months. I just didn't want to be confusing, so I decided to wipe the slate clean and start from scratch. It is really eye-opening to me when people who have contributed small amounts of help to me have allowed me to fulfill things that I didn't know how I was going to be able to take care of previously, not only in the immediacy, but also the long term. And I'm just really grateful for the help because I know that I'm following through with things that I said that I was going to. And literally the next step for me right now is designing the products that I don't have designed yet. So I will mostly be like keeping my head down and I will have a couple days where I try to find a cafe that I like to work at and get myself out of the house. It's another thing about getting this iPad. I'm stuck in my house because my laptop sucks. The battery is really faulty and I worry about taking it out with me on the go just because it doesn't run as fast as it used to be. It's like a, a laptop from 2015. So having an iPad and being able to just like sit in a space and draw would be so, 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 so beneficial to my mental health. I'm just really excited to see where this goes and this is the first moment. It'll be here at the end of the month and then I'll string the clips together and put this process into motion. I suppose this is like a longer form video of like building Divine Musings Inc, which is the name of my shop. Eventually I'll LLC it. Nobody take my LLC away from me. <laughs> anyway. <sighs> I can't wait to get my iPad. Good morning, it is February 22nd and my iPad is here. I'm gonna go get the box. We're gonna open it up, first impressions. Ugh, I'm so fucking excited. do not have a case because all I could afford was the main components. When I get some extra money, I'm gonna get one because I have never been a type of person to never have a case. Especially on Apple products, girl. Okay, well, let's, let's turn it on. Woo! Yeah! It may, it may need to be charged because it's refurbished. Well, I'm gonna set this up and then I think all I'm gonna do today is just teach myself how to like set up. Ooh, do I have enough money to pay for Procreate today? We'll see. Oh my goodness, you're the most beautiful baby. Say hello to your fans. So this pencil, when I was buying this online, it said that this was the frequently bought together pencil, but what's, what's having issues right now is uh, when I lay this down on the magnetic bar here, it doesn't like actually sit. And it says, you know, compatible for iPad models with Apple Pencil second generation magnetic connector. And it's weird because when I put it on this side, it's perfectly fine. So why is it on the side with these buttons? I hope I did not get the, oh, I hope I didn't get the. This is an update. This is the same day that I got the iPad and I let myself be sad about the pencil fiasco. I'm gonna ship it back, get my money back, and then get the right pencil. So that's gonna be maybe like another week. But for now, I was like, is there anything that I can do right now with it? And currently I'm just in free form. 
because I'm not ready to open Procreate yet. I don't want to get that until I get that. The, um, the pencil, pardon me. But, oh my gosh, are we going to be able to see it? But essentially, like, I want to do stuff like this. I have an interest in kind of like, oh my god, I feel like I want to move this. <laughs> Do you still, do you see it still? There we go. Hello, I'm in my robe. I just finished editing and I'm currently uploading a video for my patrons today and that will go up on Monday, today Sunday, tomorrow for YouTube. Just talking about my experience over this past week and now I'm going to make a struggle meal, which is rice and whatever I have in my cabinets to eat that rice with. <laughs> Hi, it's Monday. I don't have a lot of work things to do on my agenda, mostly because A, I just implemented my systems of how I'm going to organize my life. But a lot of questions that I have now are like, what's worth it to film at this point when I have no idea when the shop is going to launch? Am I disappointing myself because I feel like I don't have like good enough content to put online? Good, I say in quotes. But I will do my chores because Mondays are days of chores for me. And I have a concept for a zine in my mind. And since I'm home alone for most of today, I think I'm going to do a lot of that work uh, around the concept for the zine. The zine is a, an idea that I had at 3 a.m. a few days ago where I was conceptualizing the masks that I wear as someone who is like a chronic people pleaser growing up and I can use the pictures that I've taken of myself over the past 10 years as the baseline of it. Because sometimes I look back at the photos that I've taken of myself and it's sort of the same face, but I see something else. So what do I do with that? How do I put my little spin and style on it? Especially now that I have my iPad and I can kind of finger paint over the the stuff that I have. I think that's gonna be a very interesting zine. So it's just a matter of starting it. I have a very hard time with jumpstarting things, but when it's on a calendar and on a to-do list, I get it done. Like I edited the video and posted it on Sunday for my patrons and did a Monday schedule. And I started, I was like, okay, 
this is my time block and I got done by the end of the time block that I made for myself and I was like oh my god I'm productive anyway so I can do it it's just you have to start this is the only way that you can get through it <sighs> all right let's get to work hey it's a little later in the day I just got off of a TikTok live because I wanted to keep myself accountable so I just doodled while listening to music and it helped because I figured out some things that were necessary. One thing a part of the design or the, the official like first launch of Divine Musings Inc. is that I wanted to design a logo that made sense to me and I figured out something. I apologize, I have not eaten yet today. And I don't know if I should eat before I finish the rest of this clip, but I made some sketches of essentially what a mascot would look like. This shape in particular is something that I keep going back to because it looks like my hair. There is a frame from a video that I don't remember where it is, but sometimes when I put my hair up in a ponytail, it kind of creates this like pointed shape when it's fully fluffed out. And at one point I saw like four distinct shapes around my head and I was like, that is so cool. I want to draw that. So that is what the logo is going to end up looking like. It's going to be just that shape. But I think that there's going to be a character to create out of that that kind of represents my shop. And I've done like, I'm, I just kept doodling this over and over again to see like, what does that look like? Do I want the shape to feel more like an actual head or is it still rounded? And then I also have been drawing a lot of these types of shapes of bodies because I'm interested to see what either, what kind of like bigger prints that I can make over time. There is a cover art from a song on a playlist that I listened to that really inspired me. I'll put it up here on the screen. That what makes me want to move forward with that art style, continue to tinker away. Um, probably the next thing on my list is just design some postcards, get some ideas for those on a digital page since I have my iPad and I can just scour through photos, but I need to eat. Oh my God, I'm so hungry. I have just like rice in my fridge. So I'm gonna eat just the rice with some spices and hopefully, uh, that I don't know, that's it. That's it for this part of this vlog at this point. I don't know if it's the end, but it's definitely the end of this clip. Doomsday is close at hand. The marching man to please you speak. I'll feel like throwing up. You'll sit and stare like a goddamn machine. I wasn't even expecting to finish this tonight. I'm so excited to share this zine because I think it truly is just an extension of my own creativity. Is this the final draft? I don't know, but it just, it, it, uh, it's so beautiful. I'll make a separate video on Patreon to talk more in depth about my thoughts around this zine in particular, but oh my gosh, I am so excited to eventually get this one printed and my first one printed and just have extensions of my work that I can also eventually be able to sell in stores because I'm doing so much research on what I can do with my bodies of work that can expand outside of even the New York bubble that I'm in. I also need to start talking to people in real life about my work and also when I get things printed, I can trade zines with people here in the city and I think that's gonna be really awesome. Oh my God, I did not expect to finish this today. <gasps> That's amazing. I'm so happy to have this. We have reached the end of this vlog for now. I'm glad that I was able to complete a project and I could maybe keep going, um, but I'm just so excited to get this out and also make a video talking more in depth about this that I'll have exclusively on Patreon. And yeah. Ooh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in another studio vlog.